so I'm actually really upset right now. My costume still isn't here, and I was holding on to the hope that maybe it would be last minute delivered today, but even if it wasn't delivered today, it would at least be here by this weekend, and I could find some Halloween parties going on this weekend. So I went and I, on the website and I checked my order status just in case, and what does it say? Awaiting fulfillment. Still. I paid $44 to have it expedited shipped and it said it was going to be here in five to eight days and it still hasn't even been shipped out yet. That's ridiculous. So the company basically committed fraud and uh, I'm just like, I'm a little crushed. I feel like I'm kind of being a baby, like Nikki, people are dying, but I was really looking forward to this. I was going to be Khaleesi, have this epic costume, enter costume contests and stuff, and now it's just not happening. You know, it sucks when things don't work out. Like, I spent over $200 on this costume because I really wanted it. I thought it would be worth it, even though, like, that, I don't spend that much on costumes. I just, I thought it was going to be really fun to have. So now I'm just feeling kind of bummed out, like, what's the point of Halloween? I kind of feel like my Halloween is ruined. <laughs> I'm out running some errands and I'm getting so mad. It's taking forever to get anywhere. And sometimes I wish I lived in a post-apocalyptic scenario just so there weren't as many people around. Like I was trying to, I had to turn and I was trying to get in and someone wasn't letting me in and I totally had a freak out in the car. I started like screaming and shaking my steering wheel. I probably looked like a crazy lady. Well, I need to get some food for the reptiles and a light for them, so I'm running to PetSmart right now. I also picked up some candy in case some kids show up at our house while we're still there. I'm trying to get like back into the Halloween spirit because, you know, I'm grumpy, but I feel like I'm really gonna regret if I don't do something tonight. We're thinking of going either and checking out the parade in Hollywood or going to the Queen Mary, so trying to get back in the spirit. And of course I spaced out because I'm vlogging and walked right past the reptile aisle. And watch me walk past the lights again. Nope, here they are. Okay, great. All right, new light. One of them burnt out. <laughs> Kenobi was barking and I come out here, I go, quit barking and go to the bathroom. And then he stopped and like just started walking away and peed on the tree. Must have seen some trick-or-treaters or something or people walking around. Well, we decided to go to the Queen Mary with our neighbors. So the Queen Mary is this ship in Long Beach and it's actually haunted. I mean, if you believe in that kind of stuff, which I do, it's rumored to be haunted. It should be fun. I'm not really gonna get ready because the ship is on the harbor, you know, and it's gonna be chilly. So I don't wanna wear my nurse costume in high heels. Plus there's a bunch of mazes to walk around in. Walking in heels doesn't sound like a fun time. What are you doing? Video bombing you. But you weren't even behind me. I know, I just video bombed you. Boom. How are you video bombing me if you're not? I'm video bombing you right now. This whole little thing. It's okay. The new video bomb. I don't think it is. Good boy, Thor, you go poop over there. Treat? Yeah, you go poop. Oh, you go potty. Lola, did you oh, go potty? Go potty, Lola. <laughs> Here's the Queen Mary right there with the smokestacks that say TMZ on it when it's on TMZ. Everyone was making fun of me because when we pulled up, I'm like, oh, it's not that big once you get up close. And I guess it's like longer than the Titanic. Okay, I guess the ship looks bigger now. It's pretty big. Yep, John wants that to look like it's his penis, everybody. Feel proud of yourself? Dun dun dun, here we go. I don't even know who Simon Pegg is. This is hell. Scary. Scary? You're all like in the fog. We figure it out, we find a place to eat. They told you? We're waiting for mom. Every 10 seconds she turns around to look at something. Oh. <laughs> John wanders off too. He's, he's so tall though, that. he's easy to find. Mom's loud, so she's easy to find. Did right you see they had a Voodoo Vals souvenir uh -oh. booth? And of course I'm wearing my Witch Valerie, Witch Wicked Witch of Corona shirt. Nice. I had to get a picture. Valerie needs her Voodoo Val pictures. First thing first, finding food. I'm so hungry, I feel like I'm about to pass out because I was kind of 
starving myself a little bit for my costume and it didn't even come. But I need like a meal right now. And everyone else is hungry. Yeah, we hungry, woo woo! <laughs> I'm so hungry! <laughs> Heaven right here are my garlic fries and giant corn dog. How are your ribs, boo? 50 50. Yeah? So yours really hitting good. the spot? Mine's good, but I'm sure the ribs are nowhere as good as John makes. Yeah, John does make good ribs. Yes, he does. You're a good cook. Feeling so much better after we got some food in our stomach. I'm ready to go. Time to check out the mazes. This place is so cool. I'm feeling it now. I'm in the Halloween spirit. Oh, it's light in here. I feel like something's gonna jump out. Ooh, there's a dude! Ah, a creepy lady! Oh, she's chained up. Haha, <laughs> can't get me. I think this place is even better than Not Scary Farm. It was like all dark in some parts and we're just like, eh. It was way creepier. And John, John kept grabbing her. He kept grabbing me and I kept screaming in the maze. Stop grabbing me, John! I was very jumpy in that maze. I got scared lots of times. We got our group photos from when we walked in. I like this one. Look, I'm all scared looking at the zombie. Nice, we're buying it. Will you slide again for me? I just saw some girl walking around in a Khaleesi costume and it kind of hit a nerve. I'm like, bitch. They got a freak show going on in here. You gotta wait in line to see each freak. This line was really long. It's been really fun here, but we've only gone in a couple mazes so far and it's almost time for the park to close. More people were here on Halloween than everyone suspected. Everyone thought that everyone would be at Halloween parties and that sort of thing. I don't shave, I party. <laughs> You're really close. <laughs> Seas of people, so many people. My eyes are so wide when I'm going through a maze, I can feel them, I'm like, I bet I'd look so funny if someone took a picture. And then I have to check around every single corner to see if someone's hiding behind it. I'll like, check for the ninja monsters. They like to hide behind corners. That's how they thing. scare you. I know. <laughs> Figured out their scare plan. <laughs> yeah, look how long it is. We have to wrap all the way around over here. And here to there. Da, da, da. It looks like you're going into a spaceship. Here's the pool that's actually haunted down there. It's supposed to be, rumored to be. I think I see a ghost right there. Channel. Okay. Seven subscribers. Shout out. But, uh, yeah. Angeline. Hi. Ethan. Lewis. Well, thanks for saying hi. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, nice to meet you too. Well, guys, we had a lot of fun last night. I'm really glad that I ended up going out, that John and my neighbors gave me that pep talk, and I got in the Halloween spirit because it was just tons of fun. Um, we were so tired when we got back that we just passed out. But the Queen Mary was really cool. That was the first time we've ever been there and I totally recommend checking it out. Dark Harbor was awesome too. That's not always go going on year round, but they had that Halloween carnival was so much fun. I came home to an email from the people who I bought my costume from and I guess they sent my costume to the wrong person. So that's what happened. Won't be getting it at all this year. I just requested a refund. 
fun. Oh, and thank you to all of our viewers who came up and said hi to us while we were there. Um, a few different people came up to us throughout the night, and I just really love meeting you guys and seeing who watches our videos in person. I, I It puts a smile on my face. So I'm going to wrap things up. Always remember, guys, that I love you, and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah!